Hello everyone, welcome in this video tutorial. So today we are going to discuss about the JFX directory chooser. I will show you a simple example and I will show you how you can use the, the JFX directory chooser in the JavaFX application. So let's get it started. I am going to create a new project under this NetBeans IDE. So go to the file menu, go to new project and uh, as usual we have to select this and this now click on the next and here uh, I'm going to cover and I have to give the name a useful name of our project so we're going to discuss about the JavaFX directory chooser okay so I have given the name directory chooser now click on this finish and project is uh, setting up by the internet beans and and here is our project jfx directory chooser and inside this we have this fxml file we have a controller and we have this jfx directory chooser dot java file with this start method that's all so now what i'm going to do i will open this fxml in the scene builder so I will do small changes and I will show you. So, I'm going to open the scene builder. So, now here scene builder is open. Now, I will go here in the file menu and choose this open option. And here we have to paste the file name so it will open the same fxml inside it okay guys so I will demonstrate you with the simple example so I have to do a small change on this fxml so right here we have this button okay no problem and uh, so the thing we have to do we have to add only a text field here text field and just drag and drop it here okay so I will rename this one because this is not this is not relevant name so I will put here browse so I change it to browse and this is the text field and uh, simply I will add a label here So choose the directory directory for of images. So this is something like in here what I am going to do I will use this button okay so we will press on this button and this will open the directory chooser dialog window for you and then we select the directory inside the directory chooser and the absolute path will be reflected here in this text box so the reflected part path will be set here inside this text box so I am little bit expanding it from the right hand side so the path will be displayed properly so I am increasing the width of this text field okay that's it it's done and now save it so here we have uh, created this fx symbol okay and we have added these things on it now minimizing it no problem come back here so so right here uh, we have done the changes in fx symbol okay guys okay now come here in the controller document controller dot java so right here we have to connect uh, action method with the button so here is the fx at the fxml annotation and we have this uh, action method okay now come here in the fxml file and we will see so this action method is connected with this button already we don't need to change anything here and we will use this method so i am deleting the rest of the code from here and save it so guys uh, on the button click we have to open the directory chooser so we have to use the directory chooser class to op uh, to use directory chooser okay 
so here we have to use the directory chooser class hold on final okay so I'm looking for the suggestions so we got it directory chooser dirch object directory chooser okay simple constructor calling and now come here and in this line what we have to write we have to write the file object this is small file object is created and we have to use this object of directory chooser and now here we have to call this method show dialog okay but in the show dialog method we have to pass the stage we have to pass the stage object so as i have described in my previous video how to get the stage object here so we have to do some coding for that So now we have to go here inside this fxml and we have this anchor pen as a base pen. So I will assign the fx id to this because we need this to get the stage object. So I am giving this as the anchor id and I have created this fx id and now come back here in the fxml document controller. So right here we have to use this fxml and I have to create the anchor object here anchor pens anchor pen okay guys so I have created this anchor pen object so and we have to use the same FX ID as a reference variable at this place so we have created this one now now with the help of this reference variable we will get this stage object so watch it here uh, anchor pen dot get get scene okay we have to use this method anchor id dot get scene dot get window okay guys we got this method but this get window method will return you the different object so we have to typecast it into other stage object so here is the stage and in this way you have to typecast the object into this stage but here stage class is not visible so press alt enter on your keyboard and you get this import and everything is set now now we got this stage object here inside the fxml inside this fxml document controller now copy this and we have to pass here inside the show dialog method so it's done okay guys now now we got this file object and this file object is wrapping the the path and the information of the selected directory that is chosen by this directory chooser okay so guys we have to do a small check here suppose the user have not selected any directory and and closes that directory chooser dialog window in that case it will return the null value so we cannot apply anything on the null value so we have to uh, do a check here that file is not equal to null then we will proceed and getting the path and will set inside the text field so or you can print on the console no problem we will do both things here so file is not equal to null and first I'm going to print uh, the selected directory path on the console so using the system dot out dot print ln and this way path okay guys now use this object file dot get absolute path and it will print the absolute path of the selected directory that's all guys now do a clean build of this project and we will run this and we will see the output so after running this example we will set the selected path in this text field okay guys it's really simple for, for this we have to just assign a small fx id 
to this text field okay close this one and open this code and uh, here you can give the name text field so i have assigned the fx id meanwhile saved it okay just minimize okay the clean build is successful now going to run this example okay so we here here we have stage and we have this button and we got a text field here okay and now going to click on this browse button so guys see here uh directory chooser is opened by this button okay so here's the directory chooser so we can choose any of the directory okay so let me choose this picture directory okay suppose in case uh, this is a nested directory so you can choose uh, this one okay so screenshots is my directory okay nothing inside so i'm selecting this one and there's a button so you can click on it and now see here on the console the selected path is printed this is working perfectly as we expected so guys we have seen uh, the directory chooser is open and we have selected the directory and it has printed the path okay now i'm closing it and i will show you how to set the selected path in this text field it's easy okay guys okay guys uh, see here in the fxml document okay so we have this text field and we have assigned a fx id to this text field but we need a reference of this object inside the fxml controller so again we have to use this annotation at the rate just sorry at the rate fxml and private text field okay private text field and here we have to use the same fx id for reference variable so we have created this one and now use the same reference variable here and come inside this if condition and use this one dot set text method and here you can set the selected text by the selected path by the file chooser so we have selected with the help of this get absolute so this method is returning the selected path selected directory path okay so right now do a clean build and run this project okay clean build success and now going to run it so here is the stage now just click on this button okay we have this j file j directory chooser and so i'm going to select this one this folder okay now click on it and see here this selected path is set inside this text field so it's easy i hope this concept is clear to you guys that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates thanks for watching